made a pretty shit girl, but at least I knew how to be one. Mm -hmm. I've got nothing to go on now. I've already got a year or two of FIFA experience on the web belt. <laughs> My repertoire of sexist jokes is severely lacking. <laughs> and I still stand like this. <laughs> and it's not as if when I came out I magically stopped facing misogyny. I still fear for my safety when there's a man walking a little bit too close behind me. My male friends do not take me seriously when I talk about football or politics. I still can't use the men's bathroom in fear of being clocked. So maybe I don't have what it takes to be a man. But no one questions my authority or my intelligence when I sign off an email with Mr. Lupert Flat. I know that my future kids will bear my name, a relic of society, saying man owns this world. I will never have to worry about taking up too much space once I have hair on my chest and my voice is an octave lower. Mm -hmm. But a cis man doesn't have to fight for the right for someone else to call him a man. Mm -hmm. The government used section 35 for the first time in history to block the Scottish gender recognition bill. Mm -hmm. Reinforcing the idea that the only true man is one born with masculinity in his blood and respect in his name. Mm -hmm. So how can I truly be a man? I love the world. See history talked of honour and strength. But honour is learned and strength is gained, and neither are traits born to men only. Mm. Scientists talk of anatomy, but balls are supposed to represent strength, yet men double over and pain over them. And calling someone a pussy is supposed to insult their courage, but women in childbirth are endure more than most men could possibly imagine. Mm. Society said that a man is the head of his family. But my dad never really did get out from under my mum's thumb. <laughs> <laughs> and no one would dare suggest that he is not a man. And you see, I am my father's son. Mm -hmm. He taught me to be kind just as he was to my mum after they split. Mm -hmm. He showed me that men can be loving fathers too, just as he cared for us while my mum was drinking. He taught me that it's okay to feel and to ask for help and to hug your friends. And that if there is one thing that men have in common, it's that we are all just surviving. Mm -hmm. And so I guess I'm more qualified in my masculinity than 